Hello, Portola families. I'm Mrs. Smith, and I'm going to be reading Old MacDonald Had a Dragon. Story is by Ken Baker. Pictures and or illustrations are by Christopher Santoro. Okay, Old MacDonald Had a Dragon. Hmm. Old MacDonald Had a Farm. E I E I O. And on that farm, he had a dragon. E I E I. Not so fast, mooed the cow as it moseyed up to the farmhouse. I've got a beef with you. Dragons don't belong on farms, the cow said. But it's my farm, said old MacDonald. I can have a dragon if I want one. Hmm. Either the dragon moves out or this moo moves on, mooed the cow. Faster than the farmer could sing E-I-E-I-O, the dragon swooped out of the sky, gulped down the cow, and swallowed it whole. Delightful dairy, said the dragon. With a lick of its lips and a flash of fire, it whipped its wings and flew away. The farmer frowned. Too bad, he said. I'll miss that cow, even if it was a bit of a bit bull-headed. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with an oink oink here and a, wait one mud stinking minute, oink the pig. As long as there's a dragon on this farm, there'll be no more oink oink here or oink oink there. Adios, this hog is hitting the road. Faster than the farmer could sing E-I-E-I-O, the dragon swooped out of the sky, gulped down the pig, and swallowed it whole. Savory swine, said the dragon. With a lick of its lips and a flash of fire, it flapped its wings and flew away. Kind of. The farmer wrinkled his nose and frowned. Ah, good riddance. That stinky sow always smelled of trouble. Besides, I really like my dragon. Hmm. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a sheep. A ram charged up the steps and butted Old MacDonald right out of his chair. You can't pull the wool over our eyes, bad the old ram. You get rid of that dragon or you can kiss your wool socks goodbye. Faster than the farmer could sing E-I-E-I-O, the dragon flopped out of the sky, gulped down the ram and the whole farmyard of sheep and swallowed them whole. Marvelous mutton, said the dragon. With a lick of its lips and a flash of fire, it wilted its wings and waddled away. The farmer folded his arms across his chest and frowned. Hmm. I'm not so sure that dragon is a good idea after all, he said. I might need those sheep and their woolly socks to keep my feet warm at night. The dog. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a dog. Uh-uh, keep me out of your two-bit tune, barked the dog. I saw what happened to the cow. I saw what happened to the pig. I saw what happened to the sheep. I don't want to be dragon feed. Uh-oh. Faster than the farmer could sing E-I-E-I-O, the dragon dragged itself across the yard, 
gulped down the dog and swallowed it whole. Delicious doggy, said the dragon. With a lick of its lips and a flash of fire, it folded its wings, flopped down, and fell asleep. Poor puppy. The farmer jumped off the porch and stormed across the yard. Now wait one doggone minute, he said, kicking the dragon in the snout. Give me back my Roscoe. Faster than the farmer could sing E-I-E-I-O, the dragon stood, gulped down the farmer, and swallowed him whole. Inside the dragon, the farmer scratched his head and smiled. Oh, look, there's all the animals. Old MacDonald had a dragon, E-I-E-I-O. And in that dragon, he had a cow, a pig, a ram, some sheep, and a dog, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo oink ba wolf here, and a moo oink ba wolf here, here a moo oink ba wolf. Look at them all singing and dancing. <clears throat> Burp. The farmer and all the animals shot out of the dragon's mouth and tumbled onto the ground in a slimy heap. Ooh. Oh, terrible tummy ache, howled the dragon. With a frown on his lips and one last belch of fire, it whipped its wings and flew up and away for good. The farmer smiled, plucked his guitar, and sang, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, pig, sheep, dog, E-I-E-I-O. The end. Not a good idea to own a dragon. Nope. All right, until next time. Thank you.